So I got my first dose of the COVID vaccine the other day and um, my left arm is still a bit sore. So if you notice that I'm moving one arm a lot more than the other or if I seem awfully stiff, that's why. I feel way better than yesterday though. It felt like my left shoulder signed up for a WWE tournament and the rest of my body wasn't there. And so uh, we were like, "What? when did you do that? And why did you think you would win? Like wh why, did, why did you... Uh, now you're in pain, um, what are you doing? So, <laughs> yeah, let me say, taking off my shirt the other day, you, you I mean, if you've gotten a shot before, you know, you know how it feels when you're, your arm is just like dying and you forget, even if you choose your non-dominant arm, you forget how much you use it. <sighs> Dang, I did not realize how much I used my left arm until it hurt. Um, anyways, so today I'm doing an update for my avatar, the last pan bender project pan that I created myself. Um, and also I realized I was missing an opportunity not doing makeup looks based around the elements. So I'm gonna start doing that. Today I did water. It's probably pretty obvious. I, I tried to theme it with my shirt too. Um, I figure the turtles are kind of an, an homage to the lion turtles swimming in the water. Just being able to give people bending abilities if they want. So my phone just dropped out of nowhere, so I don't know how the camera positioning is going right now. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I used three shades from the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. I used Delish and So Good for the majority of the look, and then I used a bit of Hot and Fresh in the inner corner. And then I also used a few shades from the e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. I used Oasis to help just blend out the blues, because it's not super pigmented, but I think it helps just to fade those colors into my skin. And I wanted to use salt water on the lid, and it really just didn't... it didn't work. So I ended up using more of Delish, that matte shade, just on the lid, because, um, salt water wasn't doing it for me so there's a tiny bit of it on the lower lash line but yeah the shade was just like I'm not I wanted it to be shinier and it wasn't so um anyways I thought I would mention that in case if you were curious I feel like I have to keep on adjusting the camera because now it's like all weird and I'm afraid it's gonna fall anyways I am excited for the future updates to do different element themed looks I'm really vibing with this. Um, if you <laughs> asked me a few years ago that I'd be excited to do blue looks, I'd be like, uh, I literally have one blue shadow. I never use it. Um, and here I am now, just really enjoying blues. So, oh, how the turntables. Anyways, that is enough intro blah stuff. But let's actually get to the items. The first item is for the prompt Aang, and it is the Physician's Formula Super CC Powder. Um, I mean, it's in the shade light medium, but let's be honest, I don't think there are any other shades that they made. Anyways, um, I definitely expanded the pan a lot. Okay, I don't mean to butt in, but can we talk about this? <laughs> Keep in mind, it was repressed before I introduced it to the project, so there's not a ton left, and even when I finish it, there's still a bunch of frankens I have to use up in order to call this done. But hey, y'all, you see that? I am thinking this will be done within two, three months max. I use it a total of 27 times in the past month, which is probably the majority of times I wore makeup. And yeah, it's, it's not really something that I can use more or less than I am already. It's just, I use it basically every time I wear my makeup. And I'm happy that I can see some visible progress. Now this next item is for Katara and it is the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I used this concealer 21 times and now it is completely done. I cut it open, try to scrape every last bit out. Um, I think this color worked really well for me. It's in the shade Pale. Um, I thought it might be too yellow, but it actually kind of worked. And now I'm wondering if my undertone is actually more warm than I thought it was. I liked this for most of my face, but I find that it was sometimes a bit too thick and looked like it wore off kind of weird where it kind of like uh, creased or something where you could see that it was settling a little weird. Um, I didn't use a ton under my eyes because no, it would be too thick and dry. Um, but I started using the second one. I used it six times and as you can see, there was a lot of air in it from the get-go. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this by the end of the project. I don't know if I want to, honestly, because I don't feel like rushing through it. But I'm just happy that I got this one out. That was my main goal. And we'll see how far I get into this. Um, yeah, hopefully I, I want to be able to give like a thorough review once this is done. Probably it'll be for my like year long empties, but, um, I'm, I would have purchased this if it was on sale because I think I bought it on sale, but I don't know if I'd buy it for the full price. Now this next item is really difficult to show progress. It is for Sokka. Love him. Um, I always say, I don't know why I always am like emphasizing how much I love Sokka. I love them all. I guess I feel like he's not underrated. No one, no one is underrated. I just, I enjoy a funny character. What can I say? Anyways, for him, I chose the Essence lip gloss in the shade No Brainer. I forgot to mention, if you want to know why I chose these products for each person, then you can check the intro. But, um, my lines are complete guesses because this lip gloss does not fully settle. Um, the light is shining through it from my angle, so I you can see all the scrape marks where I tried to like swirl it down. And it seems like it settles down here, but there's also a bunch of product up here. So I just, I just estimated. No idea. No idea if that's where I actually am or not. At this point, I kind of want to see if I can just finish it by the end of the project. I don't think that's going to happen. I used this seven times and I like it, but again, it's hard to reapply because it lasts pretty decently. Um, the thing about the sparkly essence formulas is that they are thicker and because they have a bit more thick stickiness to them, they're not sticky, but they're not like super watery. So they stay on longer, but they also feel a bit like when you reapply it over top of a faded layer, it can feel just kind of like a lot, especially when the wand itself holds a lot of product typically. Oh, now it doesn't. Oh, that's a good sign then. Usually it's like full on both sides and I feel like it's just way too much if I use all the product that comes out on the wand. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I would purchase this. I think I prefer the Sparkly Milani lip gloss formula. I just realized I left my door open. Now for my girl Toph, we have the Pacifica Color Quench Lip Tint in the shade Sugared Fig. I used this six times this past month and I think I made pretty decent progress. If you look at the lines, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's definitely more than last time and I like it, but I the reason I'm able to make so much progress in six uses is because I have to reapply this a lot more, for instance, in the gloss, because it just fades off. And also sometimes it just, I need more moisture, even if the color is mostly there. So yeah, it's definitely easier to use up. Not my favorite. I don't think I would repurchase this, but I'm feeling pretty happy with it. I will definitely be able to hit my goal by the end of the project, which is that line halfway through. I think I'll definitely make it over halfway and I want to see how far I can make. I don't know if I'll finish it this year, but I would like to make it easy to finish up next year. Now this next product is for the absolute icon that Zuko is, and it is the Essence, again another Essence lip gloss, but this one's in the shade behind the scenes. It's supposed to be clear. I feel like this is kind of gross, but it's just the way it is. I, like I'm not gonna just wear clear lip gloss most days, I wanna put it on top of something else, so this is just gonna happen. Um, I can't tell if my marking was accurate or not. Depending on the angle I look at it, it's like either right on the mark or it's a little bit lower than I should have put it. Anyways, either way, I made a lot of progress this month and I didn't use it for like the last three weeks, but the first week after I made the update, I basically used it every day. I only used it a total of six days this past, I'm gonna say this past year my brain this past month, but I guess I replied it a lot so that it um, made that much progress. I'm not mad because my goal is to get it down here. So um, I think that should be doable at this rate, but also, I, I don't know. This was three uses, that's six uses. Something doesn't add up. Whatever, I'll, it, it's fine. I'll use it and hope that I'll hit my goal eventually. Now this next product I'm excited about, um, it is for the legend Iroh. I, Iroh, I love him. Anyways, haha. -ha. So, <laughs> um, it is this elf 
discontinued. Beautifully Bare Lipstick in the shade Touch of Blush. I used it five times in the past month, and as you can see on the lines, I actually can make a new one! I did not think this would happen. I was so ready to put it up against a line and nothing would be different because that's what happened last time. But this time I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can make a new line. Ha ha ha. I know it's the tiniest bit of progress, but I will take it, man. Okay, 10 uses and I made that much. At least I have hope that I can um, make progress in the future. I don't think I'll hit my halfway mark goal like I originally wanted to. But we'll see how far I can make with this. Maybe I just have to use it more than five times a month. But I'm panning, I don't know how people pan so many different lip products at once. I'm panning four currently and I'm over here just like, oh, so many lip products to pan. And one of them's a clear lip gloss. I just usually uh, don't layer things as much as other people. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm just excited that I actually can make a new line for that. That is just making my day. Now this next item is for Azula and it is a repressed, depotted physician's formula eyeshadow that no longer is sold anyways. As you can see from the pictures, I made pretty decent progress. I used it 12 times in the past month. A lot of times was in the inner corner, I think maybe a few as a lid shade, I don't remember. Um, if there are any looks that are significantly impacted by this shade, I guess I'll show them. I think this should be very easy to use up within the next three-ish months of this project. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll finish it by next month, but I think it'll only take me two months max to finish this up at the rate that I'm going. Um, I just really like it to lighten up looks and yeah, just happy about that. And the last one is for Appa. Yay. Um, it is these Pacifica Cherry Cheek Powders, specifically the two um, like satiny blushes. My goal is just to use each of them 30 times by the end of the project. I used Cherry Spirits six times, which means I've used it a total of 10 times within the project. And I've used Firelit five times, also meaning I used it 10 times within the project. And my goal was to use this one one more time because I want to use it five times a month and I was trying to catch up. Um, because I've used each of these five times a month, then I will be able to hit my goal. And I really like how that math adds up. Um, yeah, you can't really see any significant difference. There's a tiny dip in Firelit but that's just because I've used it more before this project as well. Um, but also, Cherry Spirits is slightly deeper, so I use less of it, except for the other day, um, actually yesterday when I went to get um, my vaccine and I actually left the house. I know, it was such an event. Um, <laughs> so I didn't want to wear anything dramatic. I didn't even wear like mascara or anything like that. I just wore concealer and then blush. But then I was like, oh, well I'll do like a blush draping thing and in the picture it looks okay, but I feel like, um, especially with the mask on, you couldn't really tell as much, but I realized in real life it kind of just looked like I was out in the heat too long, maybe got a little sunburned, because there's just like a lot of blush. Um, so it looked cute until I realized maybe this doesn't, I don't know, it probably looked weird, but pff, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> um, I still think it's a pretty color, it's just... One I don't reach for as much, as you can see today I'm wearing very light blush. Um, I wore like a very neutral one and the tiniest bit because I didn't think, I didn't want pink and then blue and just seemed too intense. And in general, I'm not someone who's into super intense bright blushes. Um, I like really neutral, just really toned down things. So that is why that's a bit more difficult for me to reach for just because I typically like just not a ton of blush. I don't know, I like blush. I really like blush, but I don't like wearing a ton of it, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that is it. I went through all the products, so I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. My brain is just kind of, uh, I have a paper due tomorrow at midnight. I should probably start doing that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this update and this project in general. Even if you haven't seen the show and you don't know the characters, I hope that you still enjoy watching my progress or 
looking at hopefully my new interesting looks for the next updates um i'm excited for next um update because it'll be earth and i just love earth i just want to be an earthbender i know i'm an airbender i i've acknowledged that i am an airbender at heart and i do i think it makes sense i am drawn to airbending but a part of me is like I just wish I was an earthbender though. And it makes sense I'm drawn to something that I'm exactly opposite to. So um, I'm just really excited because it has greens and browns and I love eye looks with greens and browns. Really excited for that. Um, and just excited to do looks based on the elements. I can't believe I almost missed that opportunity. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.